What's up guys? Today is a beautiful day. We're about to go out and try to catch some fish. But that is not the objective of today. Today we're gonna to take the BX Scout. That's my seven foot inflatable. And do check the motor. It's paired with the 3.5. I'm interested to see how fast this thing can go. Now I'm not looking for any top speed. I'm not looking to look like a jet. But I wanna make sure it can get to the spots where I like to fish. So let's get out to the launch and set it up and get on the water. Okay guys, so over there is the launch. Right there is the mosquito haven. So I got this, uh, this little thermal cell. It's a, it's a mosquito repellent and it's on. I'm warming it up right now. It's been on for about maybe two or three minutes. And I'm gonna put it on the bench. It has like a 15 feet radius of protection. So I wanna see if it works. And just in case it don't work, I still have my bug repellent. So I'm gonna place it on this bench over here. It appears that they're about to have a concert over there later on i'm not gonna be here we're gonna put this on the bench right here and hopefully the mosquitoes will stay at bay uh, i'm gonna take a look at the water the time's supposed to be in i don't know i saw that it was out coming in on the other side but it doesn't make a difference it looks like it's out the tide is out so it's all right so let's go set this thing up you know in the water all right, guys, we out on the water. As you can see, we had a little slow little troll here. And uh, I'm out on my little seven foot, as I said earlier. And uh, it looks like fish are jumping. But we're not, we, we're, we're not really out here for that first. We want to see the performance of this boat with this motor. It's a 3.5 Tahatsu. I finally figured out how to say it. Guys, I've been practicing. And we're going to run it through the trial and tribulations. Uh, of the speed just to see if we can get this thing going to at least about six miles hopefully some guys have said they got up to nine and ten i'm here to test that theory this is a small boat i weigh 200 pounds as you can see it's not much in here not much in here so that shouldn't have anything to do with the weight so let's get to going get this test on the road we're trolling at two miles an hour somebody told me on the group that this thing can't get on plane and uh, I just picked it up a little bit and we did get on the plane. We're moving pretty smooth, smooth. The water is calm. And the tide is coming in, so I shouldn't have to worry about... Oh, we're going back. Well, actually, actually, I went in a circle, so let's turn this thing around while it's setting up. I actually went in a circle. So I'm going to go right to where it says start. So we're just in where it says start on the throttle. Right there. And we're at three miles already, so we're already at three miles. So we're kicking three miles right about now. Uh, we're gonna go about just a little bit above. So I'll put it right about here. And uh, we have four miles now. Four miles. And that's right at where it says start, where you start it up after uh, warming the boat up. So we're at four miles, and we're average so far two, two miles. So I'm gonna let these kayakers go by, and then we'll continue out here. We're gonna cock this thing up a little bit more, and it is on plane. It's on plane at four miles per hour, it's on plane. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. Alright guys, so it looked like I got up to five. 
it does plane, the plane that too. I do have this tray of trim to the front, so I'm going to actually try to trim this. Go back maybe to another slot back and see if that makes a difference. Okay, guys, so far I'm only able to get this up to five miles per hour top speed, which is okay for me. And I'm going to, uh, against the current, of course, so I'm sure if I was to go with the current, we'll at least get six or seven. But that's good for what I got this little boat for. It's going to get me to my spot. And you see it has a built-in tank, so if I keep it at top speed, I'm only going to get maybe 45 minutes. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually trim this thing into the second pin and see if it makes a difference. Once I get to some shallow area, we don't want to lose the pin, and I ain't rigged the pin up yet. So, in other words, for now, just enjoy the scenery. Look at this. Is that the life or what? Uh, from back from my past experience, I want to stay in the deep part where the boats are. Uh, over there is kind of shallow, so we're gonna aim that way and go up against the shoreline in the middle. Well, they're having a great time over there with trip. No, that's it's a twin and another boat on the other side. But all that matters is that your boy New Jack Jack R O B is out here, and I need you to, to subscribe right now. Please subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow. Make sure you hit the like, and if you don't like it, that's cool. Uh, this is all business. I, I can't make you like everything. We don't like everything that people cook, right? So do me a favor, grow the channel, hit it. Hit it now. You ain't doing nothing, hit it now. You guys over there, hit my channel. New Jack Yak, R-O-B-N-Y-C. We'll be back after this. Okay guys, so I got to my spot. Last year about this time, well it was actually September, me and Teddy Ted was at this spot right here and uh we slay some porgies here so i'm just testing it out for a couple of minutes maybe a half hour to an hour before i go out to the deeper part of the water and explore over there i just want to see i got a couple of nibbles but I haven't been able to hook up on anything yet so we're gonna keep it here for a little bit longer oh you should see we got the boats going in and out that could be a problem i didn't have that issue uh last year when we was out here so see what happens just gonna see what happens we're working with this we got uh, a loose carbon Carbon fire, speed stick. This did its thing last year, so I, I brought this one. Hopefully, we can have a repeat. Last year, this was a COVID part. Leave your comments below. Now that everybody's back, I think the fish are caught on. <laughs> They're not coming up in here. And the tide is coming in, so I should be getting the bites. I'm getting caught on, getting hooked up soon. All right, guys. All right, guys, we got our first porgy, yo. Got our first porgy in. And I ain't, I'm not taking him home. We're going to let him go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. So as you can see. All right, guys. We got our first four here. Our first hit. Looks like this is going to be a winner. Look at this, Ted. Let's put him back. Let him go. Let him go. There you go. Yo, he's gone. We're going to let him go. Get bigger a little bit. Bring your cousins back. Bring your cousins back. Let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. First fish for the day. Another one. We got another one coming up. We got another one coming up. Okay, guys, we got another one, but it's a baby. We're gonna throw, <laughs> gonna throw his little stuff back. He's cute, right? For a little baby. Let's throw him back. We, he's not even worthy for a picture, but we're gonna take one anyway. And we'll put him back in the water. All right, we're gonna release the little guy. Take on. There you go. Yeah. That's making it fun. I mean, at least we're not getting skunk, and I have no plans on keeping them, so it's their lucky day. The fish lucky day today goes ROB. New Jacks, Yak, ROB ain't trying to catch and keep no fish. I hope this guy sees me. Channel's on that side. All right, so let's get back to fishing. Okay, guys. Got another one on, bringing another one in. Once these poor you hook, they hook. This one's a jump. Oh, this one's a jumbo, but what's going to do? Here you come. He's a little fighter. They all small out here. I may have to go to the deeper water. So here we go. Got another one. Right here, we're going to let them go. Got to lose our bowl in the process. There you go. So in the 
same spot we got we got three porgies really small ones and even if i was keeping i wouldn't have kept those but at least we're not getting skunk i think i'm gonna have to go out a little deeper water and try to catch some jumbo so after the next one if it's not a jumbo i'm probably going to go pull anchor and go out into the water there when the long island sound y'all the long island sound new york catching porgies he's still there look he's fighting this one look at the bed he's fighting boy he's fighting Keeper right there, guys, but I'm not keeping fish today. I'm about to lose my stuff, so let's get him off the hook. This is like the first one I caught. So, guys, they out here. You really don't have to go far, it's just that you're gonna be luckier than these bank fishes because they can't get out to the honey hole. Honey hole is right here and right, right around me. So, let's get him off, get him back, take a picture of him. Yeah, I need a little feisty one. Uh, he had his get all his spikes up so we just gonna let him go five fishes he ain't gone we're gonna let him go and tell his cousins we out here so beware we catch him i think i'm gonna pull the anchor and go out to a little deeper water see if we can find some bigger pork Okay guys, so I just caught another porgy. So I, I caught about maybe four or five so far. I'm not keeping count. Of course, I'm not keeping them. And I'm not saying, I'm, I'm gonna show you where my location is. And hopefully I can meet some cats out here one day I'm out here. That's right, right there is David Allen. If you know where David, where David Allen is, that's where I'm catching these fish are. And there's a lot of boat action out here. I'm gonna get off here. I remember uh, two years ago, I just docked my kayak right over there and cast, oh, <laughs> and cast right out. And I caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot of fish just right off that island. And there was a sea buzzard over there. He must have left. I'm not going over there unless there's a sea buzzard over there because the buzzards usually want to eat something that's dead or going to be dead. So I'm going to finish, see what else is over here. I'm trying to catch a big, a big uh, porgy, but it doesn't seem like the, 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 the cousins are out today. <laughs> but it's still a beautiful day. It was a little rough getting over here because like I said, this is channel. You can see where the water gets rough from here to there and then you got all the boats coming in um i'm kind of out here like illegal my tags are falling off there's one tag <laughs> i gotta get this boat in condition i may just go ahead and just go ahead and paint it on i'm trying different things and you know i mean nobody's out here really bothering this is covid uh a year and it's pretty much hands off pretty much on everything to a certain extent and hopefully this is one of them let's get back to some fishing Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up right now. I don't lost my anchor, got hooked down, I had to cut it loose. And since I had to cut it loose, I'm gonna cut this loose and head on back in. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please like the channel. Uh, it's been a fun day. Like I said, I wasn't out here to actually catch any, I mean, I was out here to catch fish. Um, but I wasn't really out here to, how can I say, uh, take fish home. So, see you on the next time. Thank you for watching On the Water, On the Land. I'm New Jack Jack R.O.B. Peace.